Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. Of course, it is Saturday. It's another one of those editorial videos where I just talk freely about stuff. But there are a couple things that actually happened. Um, and these aren't really big news, but if you're into the Snyder, Zack Snyder, Veril thing, then I think I've got a little bit more stuff here for you. Now, this is, came out of Vero. He posted on Vero. Uh, this was actually... A couple days ago, I think, or was it a day ago? But he posts on Vero. He said, I'm excited to see what James Wan does this King Aquaman. Hashtag Aquaman. Hashtag James Wan. And, of course, that is the shot that we didn't get to see in the Justice League theatrical or even a digital movie. This is a beautiful imagery. I mean, this is incredible. Where the water comes up and hits some full-blown-on non-CGI. Uh, and I, I'm sure that hurt. But it was incredible imagery. He is a um, half-human, half-Atlantean, ready to take on the water. It, it just envelops him. And it's an incredible imagery. Slow motion effect. How can you not put this in the movie? Like, how could, you, how could one say... Let's skip this shot, you know, and, and for me, I am an artistic eye, so, because I, I, I came from art class, but I like to put the most beautiful imagery into something, right, uh, rather than take that out, you know, I would rather have put that in, if you know what I mean, it's just visually intense, and um, it worked in the trailer, I can't understand why it's not in a movie, but it's just, I know he's he's rooting for James Wan's, and he's telling us to um, be excited for Aquaman, which we are, I am very excited for James Wan's Aquaman, and and in a way, he's also teasing his, his cut, right because that's a scene that's not in the movie and it is exists somewhere um we've seen a trailer version of it so um excited to see if anything comes up with that but i like to be, uh think that we had a i had a little conversation with um someone over online and you know for me on twitter um there's a lot of negativity there's a lot of people who want to make their case and i i listen i read what their their case is but i generally can feel can know that they won't accept any arguments you know like if you gave it an idea your own opinion and you say well this is what i thought about it they're not ready to let that up and they'll fight for it you know they'll fight for it so um i made a kind of a deal with and i won't say who but i can make kind of a saying that um you know this is what happens when um you a studio trades art with a commercial and you know that other person really argued the point about well, it's a three hundred million dollar movie. Of course, it's going to be commercial, and it's going. Of course, it's supposed to be mainstream. And you know, how can you say that? That just being artistic, it's not an art film because it's a big budget movie and stuff. I, I understand that, you know. And I and, and I, judging from all the the tweets he posted, like four or five, and just kept continuing. I was like, oh, I don't think. I don't think he wants to hear an argument for it. He just wants to make his case. So I just let it. I just let it go. So I just like oh, okay whatever you know and uh um, i don't need to ruin my day by being argumentative about it right, right? so um but it, this is how i feel about that and i understand the whole commercial versus art um this is what i wanted to say about that is that warner brothers is commercial um zack snyder is an artist okay um he went in there not trying to make millions of dollars out of a film. That would be nice. But he's just trying to make a film that he sees in his head. He's an artist. He's trying to make a film that would be uh, artistically um, and um, story-wise and artistically and aesthetically. Um, and it's just uh, more in beautiful in his head and portraying it out in, in a way and having an homage to all the comics that he loves um, putting his heart and soul into it to create something that sends a message that um, is is more and maybe deeper than what the mainstream audiences would ever recognize right it's very layered um, like I remember someone put out a picture of a a Titanic, I think, I think it was a ship or something. It was like an iceberg. Okay, an iceberg. And so, what people, what 
many people see above above the water is a small little mountain right of ice what we see is a giant deeper um, part of that ice all the way underwater so there's it's it's a larger layer that we can see and I appreciate those films in a way Zack Snyder made a film uh, that he called it it's a comic book superhero movie but other people when they see that it's a comic book superhero involving Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman is that they're saying well, the genre is comic book superhero we, and that's all we're going to see. That's all we want to see it as its surface level. We're not prepared to see it other than that, and that's why he was so ahead of his time. Uh, we're not prepared to see Watchmen, even though the Watchmen comic is pretty much the same, uh, is that we're not prepared to see a superhero movie in that type of level with that gore and, and all that stuff and, and having those messages. We're not prepared to see that. Um, but he, Zack Snyder was not... Uh, uh, was already prepared he was he is not afraid to show you and ask those questions like i've said before um he, he created an art film he created a an almost independent art film with a large uh commercial budget okay and that's where the that's where the problem lies is that the warner brothers wanted a commercial mainstream type superhero movie and that is ultimately why they hired joss whedon because joss whedon developed a, a a comic book mainstream movie that had a little a bit of comedy in it had a lot of action in it, but it's very surface level material um it's things that you can watch understand and leave the theater without having to delve deeper into it you just wanted to have a good time and that's what avengers was and avengers made a billion over a billion dollars and that's all the studio wanted. Zack Snyder wanted more. And for people who appreciate that, people who like appreciate Annihilation, who appreciate horror movies that are not surface level horror movies like The Witch, you know, things like that, would appreciate Zack Snyder's films uh, a lot more. And uh, I think uh, and that's where our fandom comes from. And that's why we appreciate that. But so there's the difference between what they did. And I I'm, and they did do that. They traded his artistic uh, film for a commercial film, which was what Justice League was. Of course, that didn't pan out correctly. Uh, it was too different um, than what Zack Snyder would have done and it, it it made it more mainstream so it made it more easier for people to understand on a surface level and it created that thing it created a thing where we have that problem of seeing it to be more marvel right and in a way it was more marvel than dc and like zack snyder said we shouldn't be making we shouldn't be following their tail we shouldn't be chasing after marvel's tail it should be DC and DC has now been more yes darker and I, I, I say darker loosely it's I'd say more real more realistic than what uh, Marvel has done Marvel has become something else entirely they've made lighter tone films in, in order to so that your mind just bypasses things that are happening like like new york being destroyed and everything and you don't feel the consequences of that as more than what man of steel has done they're both equally destroying cities here but because man of steel brought it up to a more realistic nature uh in its art form um that it becomes too real for the audiences that they cannot comprehend that matter while in um avengers they made light of uh, light-hearted and the heart felt it, it felt light so it, it was a lighter tone people were cracking jokes you never feel that danger and and that why it never felt really realistic in that sense and that's why you are able to let uh, buildings go not knowing if there's people in it you just let that slide you just let it slide and just, eh, and you know that's how marvel's doing it they're doing a lighter tone so that um it, it doesn't have that realism anymore and that's why your sense of realism is gone what zack snyder is trying to do is trying to bring you back to that realism um and that and and for people who can't handle that realism, they just call it dark. Because that's exactly how this world is, right? <laughs> um, you can't handle real life. So you want to go into the fantasy world and make light of situations and and 
able to leave the theater all smiling and happy about it and so and that's okay that's the type of movie you want what warner brothers didn't understand is that that's not the the type of movie Zack snyder wanted and if Zack snyder had came across um in which i am sure in the way he's moving the making the movies why is warner brothers continuing that if you if warner brothers really wanted something else different then instead of cutting up Zack snyder's artwork um we get from the get go you should have had it right at the meeting says that's not exactly what we wanted you know at that meeting saying Zack Snyder and Zack and Deborah put out all what they're trying to do this is what we're trying to go for and they said no then that would have been the end of it then it wouldn't he wouldn't have wasted his his life you know what seven years of his life trying to make something incredible and if they really believed him, believed in him in the first place, like Christopher Nolan, who's also kind of an auteur uh, director in itself, um, he create he does he creates art. You know, he, he doesn't really he doesn't create it for the commercial success. You know what I mean? He's not in there saying, you know, I'm going to make a billion dollars out of this movie. No. He's going to make a movie because he wants to make a movie that tells a great story. He wants to make a, a movie that's art to him, art to us, and uh, visually, uh, aesthetically pleasing. Things that comes from his imagination put on to film. Um, that's what he wants. Uh, and he's able to get a publisher who's able to finance that. And, and that's what he wants. So he's not there to make he's there to make money but that's not the first thing in his mind he's not looking at a film like this is going to be a billion dollars no he's he's there to make you know um an art and that's what artists do so that's what i want to kind of split up the difference between commercial and art uh, people who want to make commercial mainstream movies michael bay i mean he's just making billion dollar movies because he wants to think sees things explode and maybe that's his own art form in itself but um you can't doubt that he makes a lot of money pumping a lot of money is it good i don't know that's different that's subjective um uh, to your eyes and my eyes and things like that but that's what i wanted to talk about that um so i i really truly uh believe in these art uh, directors, directors who um, tap into their own artistic nature and try to create stories aesthetically uh, pleasing to me. Uh, I like visual storytellers. Um, I like those more um, more than you know shots that are very basic and not very dynamic. And it's just um, I like the shots to tell me the story rather than figuring it out rather than them telling me what the story is um, so these type of movies like Zack Snyder's movies uh, Christopher Nolan movies um, th these type of movies um, are are better for me you know more along the lines of how I I like movies you know Annihilation, Arrival, these type of movies anyway. Ray Fisher, for the first time of, of all the cast, has actually posted something about Justice League. And you may, you may not say it, but the picture speaks louder than words. Um, and it is of the football scene that they shot. One of the first things they ever shot. Um, and uh, of cyborg right and he is in the base uh, football stadium he's playing in the football and, it, and he, he posted that picture here and uh, of course that never made it into the film it, you can see a little bit of some pictures in that where where cyborg opens up his hands and you see the digital thing going on but he you never actually really see it so he posted on vero and on twitter and he says life doesn't always go how we plan it the only thing we can do is keep reaching for what we believe hashtag borg life hashtag love ray so for out of that message you gotta believe that he really wanted us to see him uh his cyborg store um turn out the way that it should have been intended you know you see his origin you see his mom um, you see his dad you see how he was before uh he turned into cyborg um the, the all the things that was shot uh with him there there was that whole leaked footage of him walking through like a nazi camp or something um and it we would have loved to see that in the origin of cyborg um uh, he 
Zack Snyder actually had that on screen. And for the people who says, I couldn't, you know, there's not enough character development, was that because they cooked, took out the character development that was in, that was supposed to be in the Justice League movie, right? And it was probably part of Justice League Part 1 and Part 2, you know? Uh, well, Part 1, because that's where all the origin story was in the base. So, he... And it doesn't always work out the way because of studio intervention, and we already seen that happen. Only we can do is keep reaching for what we believe, and I think he believes that maybe one day uh, we could see that cyborg. I, I don't know if he's talking about his own origin film that may be hinting at or hoping at. Uh, maybe there was some kind of uh, talk involved in that, or maybe it's the Snyder Cut because Zack Snyder uh replied back to him he posted this in a way replying back to it says believe at ray fisher hashtag board life right and it is another angle of the same shot in which i think he shot that himself with his uh, uh camera and he says to believe and and zach snyder and everybody else i myself i'm a believer i believe that something will come up from this i'm a true believer in his art i'm a true believer in his work and i'm a true believer in uh what the the snyder cut because i i believe it is out there it may not be finished but i believe that something may be brewing there there a lot of people seem to think so seem to believe so um there's going to be a lot of people who say it doesn't exist um and you know that's I already said that that the wording in that it doesn't exist. Well, it exists in some form, or else they would have changed it. <laughs> but um, is it a complete form? I don't know. Is it being finished right now? I don't know. But I believe that it will one day surface, and we will one day get to see it. Uh, I am a believer in um, what Justice League Part One and Part Two could have and should have been um and i i believe that one day we'll be able to see zach snyder's true vision um in some type of form it does it does it may not be the movie it could be just a script or it could be just a story we're seeing parts bits and parts and pieces of it but one day we'll finally get to see uh what that vision will be like may not be in a movie i'm just saying but we'll hopefully one day we'll believe but i believe in it i'm a huge believer and um, I hope you believe in it too. He's clearly telling us something here. And it's so refreshing and I'm so happy to see that other fans are believe in the Snyder visions, believe in Snyder, the, in the Snyder cut so much that they uh, take that extra um, moments of their life, uh, extra uh, talents to use and actually edit the digital version of Justice League in order to get it a little bit closer, whether it's color grading, whether it's uh, changing changing the music whether it's changing the way the pieces of the plot are put together uh i am so fascinated by these cuts i watch all of them i'll try to watch all of them i know that i've got two cuts that people have posted and i've, I've retweeted but i have yet to watch it. i totally apologize and i'll i'll get to that but there is one clip i saw today from ab directors probably my favorite uh, my, in my opinion my favorite person in editing this together he has made clips and i hope one day I'm going to reach out to you and says, hey, are you going to make the whole movie? Because that would be really awesome. Um, but he, he has made the Justice League Part 1, Final Battle Part 1. And the way he changed the music and able to edit it, that it really felt like it was really, that is the real movie. Like, you know sometimes when you edit the audio, it doesn't sound right. It sounds perfect. And I think he's really well adapted to, to make these edits and changes. Um and even he even added the a great part uh wonder woman dropping down um and says shall we with uh, aquaman cyborg in tow i have not seen any other cut do that i'm so happy to finally see that in this um and i can't wait to see what part two of that final battle is but the point is that these people Put, really believe in Zack Snyder enough to do this. And I'm so happy to see that. I'm so happy to see that they wanted to see, just like myself, uh, to see a little bit closer to what Snyder envisioned. If you love the Justice League uh, version that we have now, power to you. I'm so happy that you are. I have a couple of friends who are so stoked with this current vision that they, they wanted to continue this route. And I'm so happy for you. But for me, I really want to close it out. Uh, I 
really want to see that Snyder version. I just want a little bit more from it, in my opinion. Um, so um, I am so happy to see these fans doing it, uh, doing it justice. No pun intended. I just went there. I'm sorry, uh, but you know, it's it's not the Snyder cut. I understand it's not Snyder's true vision, but. Uh, it's a little bit closer maybe just a few things that make it a little bit closer uh, it's not it's not gonna take away from uh, what Snyder intends I understand that and I I do but as fans we just want to see it just a little bit to help us get through it and I I fully support that uh, I believe in it I believe in you guys I believe in snack Snyder and hopefully one day Warner Brothers will believe it enough to actually let Zack Snyder work on, finish, and uh, release his cut, his vision. Uh, whether it will be in the complete movie form, uh, half-finished form, or just script form, or story form, I don't know. But hopefully uh, they'll ha he'll have a say in that, uh, regardless whatever that will be. Alright guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.